So the outline of today, tonight's talk is going to be what are sarcoids? How do horses get sarcoids? The different types of sarcoids that horses can get and what are the treatment options for sarcoids? And there's quite a few. And whenever there's quite a few treatments for something, it's a general indicator that none of the treatments are 100% effective. If any of the treatments worked brilliantly and were applicable for every case, there would only be one treatment. The fact that there's so many, and in fact that you can Google and find you know, another 20 probably, means that um, there's no one good treatment for all sarcoids. And we'll come on to explain why that's the case. So what are sarcoids? Well, most simply they're a tumour, so they're a type of cancer and they're um, confined to the skin primarily. So that's where the, the lump starts. And they're very common in the, uh, in the equine population. And our, we don't really know the true instance, but we think about six to 7% of horses have sarcoids. So time for the second poll. We're going to come on in a second to the different types of sarcoid. But um, first, I just wanted to see how aware you were of the different, um, what sarcoids can look like. So the second poll is, of these pictures of horses, so we've got A, B, C, D and E, only one of these is a sarcoid. So there's essentially four main types of sarcoid. Um, and those four main types are occult, varicose, nodular and fibroblastic. So moving on to um, treatments, the important thing to realise about a sarcoid is what you see on the surface, it's a bit like an iceberg, it's not the whole thing, there's a whole lot going on underneath that you just don't know about. And, and that's the risky part, because if you leave any sarcoid tissue behind, it's going to come back. 